Hey guys, so you may not know this because I didn't tell you yet, but I'm about to tell you. I just finished recording a whole video, yay, except for this very first part. So, what am I doing now? I'm recording the first part. This is probably going to be at the beginning of the video since I have a Mac. Um, the aspect ratio of the Mac screen is different than the 1080p resolution that I have to export it as um, for YouTube. Um, not for YouTube, for iMovie, because iMovie doesn't like different aspect ratios. So, this tutorial will be using Blender to make the actual maze mesh OBJ. And the second one, you part, we're gonna go to Unity. Uh, you're welcome to exit the video at that point, but I mean, you could also watch me fail at Unity since, well, I'm good at Blender, bad at Unity. So, anyways, this is the maze generator. Um, as I talked about the aspect ratio before, I zoomed it in, so you can't really see the top. Um, but the website I'm using right here is www.mazegenerator.net and it, it, it's a maze generator and it, it, it's uh, very useful um, you can these don't really make these don't really change it I know these do you could do hexagonal cells, triangular cells, and square cells we're gonna be doing square cells today but feel free definitely to, to try something different I'm gonna be generating a square cell one I'm just, I already pre-generated one, but I'm going to generate right, one right now so that I can show you guys this. So this is the width in cells and height in cells. I made one that's 200 by 200, which is crazy, but in the tutorial I will be doing 20 by 20. Inner width and height, I just leave blank. And, um, you, you could, um, I mean, you, you could change the settings and stuff, but, yeah. I think the default settings are good, but I would change these if I want to make it interesting. So you just click generate and look at this maze. Now you could do this or hexagonal cells right here or delta triangular cells, which look like that. You might have seen one of these mazes before, but in this tutorial, I will be generating a orthogonal. Is that how you say it? Orthogonal? Yeah, Pro probably for orthographic view. I don't. Know. This is in square cells, and once you've gotten this, uh, change this to SVG, not with solution, just SVG, and then just click download. Do not check one of these when you download it, because the solution, aka SVG with solution, um, that that's just gonna add a whole extra wall. Of the path of UI, it's just all confusing. And if you do as lines, instead of the different walls, it does the different paths. So these are all the different paths, so the walls would go in between. So if, if these paths were walls, then the walls would be paths. Confusing, right? Just keep these unchecked. So you have a normal maze. You just download the SVG. And now we will go to Blender where I will show you how to import this SVG and turn it into a maze OBJ. Um, once you've gotten your maze SVG, just delete this cube and say import. Um, you can see I have all this stuff. Um, if you go to user preferences and type in SVG, then you can see the import, export, scalable vector graphics this one, just check that, save user settings, and you'll be able to import right uh, here, you'll be able to import it, and here, here's my 20 by 20 maze, I have 200 by 200 maze that took forever to import, so I'm definitely not doing that. Let me just click import SVG. So now we'll have all of these little curves. First, let's delete the main camera. And we'll press A to select everything. We'll scale it up by 100. And we have this maze here. 
Now I'm going to say Control J to make it one object. Or actually, you have to select one of these first. Now if I click Control J, it's all one object. And I'll name this object Maze. Now for the time being, for the time being, this is a curve. We want it to be 3D, so select 3D. Um, this isn't doing anything. For extrude, this is how tall the maze will be. So I think um, 0 0.002 will do. Um, we could always scale it along the Z if we need it to be more. As for the bevel, we're not going to be using that, but as you can see, it, it makes it thicker, but in a way that we don't want. So that's why we're going to make it thicker separately. Now, now I, I think we're good. So I'll say Option C, Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text. And now it's a mesh. Yay! Well, first of all, if I do Shift S and cursor to center, that'll center the cursor. Then do Option Control Shift C, and say Geometry to Origin. This will put it in the middle, but you'll see. Go to front view and orthographic view. That it's off center. Oops, it's off center. So the way to fix that is go into edit mode, select everything, G, and then Z, and hold down Control to snap. And just snap it on the red line right there, and you'll see it'll be. It, it'll yeah. So now I'm going to go top view, and, <laughs> and I'm going to go um, tab. Um, first I'm going to select everything and say remove doubles, and that just removes all the unneeded vertices that are in the exact same place. And then I'm going to say shift A and create a plane, and I'm going to scale this plane holding control. to about the size of this. It seems a bit off-center, so I'm going to click G and hold control. Like so. Actually, now it's off-center still. So, if you want it to snap halfway, you hold down Shift, also. That way. Bam. So, I'm just going to get it about there. That looks good. Now, of course, the corners of this plane... Now, of course, let's remove doubles one more time. That will remove the, the corners of the plane. The corners of the plane that were intersecting with the corners of the wall here. The vertices. So, I remove those four. And now, we have this maze, which is an entrance here and an exit here. Now, you'll notice it looks kind of weird. And that's because the normals are off, but if we add a solidify modifier, what? No, no, first of all, I want to set this to, to um, or, yeah, I want to set this to flat shading. That, that, that by itself looks a lot better. I'm going to recalculate normals, like so. Huh, it's odd. Still solidify. Right. It's way too much, so turn that down. What is this? Beautiful maze mesh. So I'm going to say apply. So now I think it's done. So I'll just export it. Again, I'm going to user preferences. I'm going to export it as an OBJ. Let's put the sketchpad folder. And I'll save it as maze.blend. And now it's time to go into Unity.